new version of Truepath. With new version installed, you can simply create the XPath with right click. Let's assume I need to create the XPath of the element, how search works. Let me right click on the targeted element. Once I click the targeted element, you can see the option, menu option, relative XPath. When you hover over this relative XPath, you can see the different options that have been created by the true path. Now, let me click one of the options from here. Okay. So once I click this option, it will give me a pop-up as shown, he, shown. And now from this pop-up, you can see the normal XPath which is coming under XPath options and the page object formal which is coming under the page object uh, model XPath options. In case this XPath is part of any iframe, then the iframe URL would be shown under here. So with this refresh UI, UI that for this new TruePath version, it also create the element name from from the targeted wave element itself so we try to create the xpath for the house search works and and you can see here that it has constructed the element name as well now here you can see uh, the page title which nothing but the title of the page where where the wave element uh, resides so here you can see the google and and it is extracted from this wave page okay now you can one way like you can copy using this copy button you can copy this xpath and use in your automation code and there is another way it's like uh, this xpath is added to this little grid okay so every time when you click a new xpath so it will add it to the grids and from the grids you can export all the xpath in one go to the excel file and from the excel file you can use it to your automation code let me try to create the xpath of these gmail options okay now let me select this now now here you can see here you can see uh, the xpath for the gmail it is displaying here earlier every time when with earlier version of the true but every time you used to generate uh, the xpath a new pop-up page used to open but now the pop-up will be new one pop-up will open and it will remain constant till the session okay now if you click this export button it will open this excel pop-up now you can click okay okay just click yes button here You can see the all the expats in the Excel, and from there you can copy all the ex expat and use it in your uh, automation code. Okay. Apart from this, you can edit uh, any old expat. Just click here and click this edit button. And now let's assume I'm I'm putting an index over here. okay and i can say add sorry i have to click save if i click the save button then it will update it continue to be there now if i if i want to delete it let's click delete and click this delete button it will delete the added xpath similarly it has a uh, different different uh, helping uh, options like if you click this uh, this uh, button you can redirect it to TruePath uh, helping site this from YouTube you can refer the YouTube videos here with uh, Twitter you can connect with me and this is to put forward your reviews okay this is a quick uh, overview of the new uh, TruePath uh, versions Okay, thank you once again for joining this video. Thanks a lot.